Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, uh, we're here on the Fallen Arm. We reunited with our love. It was very nice and wholesome. And now we got to get our friends back. We got two. We still need three. So, let us continue forth. Cheeks. Cheeks, sir. Cheeks. Don't, don't be doing that. What would Shulk say if he knew you were doing that? I'm sorry, what? What would he say if he knew you were no, doing that? No, that, that's what he said. Oh yeah. That's what he would say. What? Why? Because you're weird. Are some little shinies? But nah, we should. We Where? should. No, we should just go get our friends. They're down below. I don't even know how we get there. A summer star. Wow. Oh, I see the way up. Oh! The hell are those? How have you pressed Features. the map button? I know I saw shinies. Where are the shinies? There they are. You, what do you mean, unique monster? What? 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 Affluent... What? Affluent Belef. Uh, sure? Sure, I guess? How are we almost... What the fuck? What the hell happened? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We don't have a healer. Oh no. Why is this? Axolotl, so scary. Why are we? Why are we dead? Okay, we're up. We're up. He's toppled. He's dazed. Oh my God. Okay, so sir, um, no, no big fights, no, no big fights until we get the, uh, how have you done that? No big fights until we get our people back. This is scary. Yes, Fiora has a big fuck off laser. It's beautiful. The affluent Beleth is almost dead. More like the affluent Bellend. Oh. Okay. We are we have one. We have one. You know shield doesn't it's not an actual shield, right? It just protects against the the talent arts. Why it's called that? I won't know. It's kind of stupid, but eh. how are we getting a vision from this little bugger? Oh, because Ryan's gonna die. More like this thing's gonna die. 
That was a close one. And we have to patch okay. ourselves up. That was lucky. Ooh. Oh. We need five electric Upa tears. Okay. Got one. We got one. And some squishy cartilage, nice. Hey, we got stuff we needed. No. Oh! Why? We took out a unique monster, and we got the shiny bits. Was it worth it? I don't know. But I sure. But what are you doing? The 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 yellow guided line fucked me up. It fucked me up bad. Where is our friends? I need to see them. Who <laughs> are you, sneakies? A star cute. And a summer star. Hmm. Radio Carpea. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. That's the hand right there. Oh, I, I see a red thing. You see a red thing? Yeah, over there. By the, I think it's the pinky. Oh, that's a creature. You thought that was an item? I thought that was an item. I was really confused when I could see it. That thing's moving. What is that? I think it's one of those flying mech on. It must be huge if we can see it from all the way over here. Why is it loaded in? Maybe a unique monster. Let's not. Ryan, what are you doing? Ow. Why, you? why did you do that? Alley -oop. I I mistook those fireflies for uh items for just a second. Alley -oop. Saved us from taking damage at the last moment. What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sounds. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! <sighs> oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here they are. Oh, not yet. No. We have one more party. Would have been really funny if Ricky was just stuck by himself. Look at this absolute gooba. Oh, Ricky, very hungry. And Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. Wait, they're literally where we are. Beach. Hmm. What's this? Here upon Ricky, have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish tastes yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Very hungry, too. Hmm. How considerate of you. Hmm. Ricky, not understand, Dun Dun. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason you ask. Ricky's a gooba. 
But he's so kind. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad doesn't like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And Dun Dun not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dun Dun's story. Ricky listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero -bon. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. <laughs> well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other, but they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. <laughs> I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun too. Oh, she no. Did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun, take care of them. Hmm? Dundun, watch over Shulk. Dundun, watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. How is Reggie the most emotionally intelligent one here? He has like five kids. Huh. Reggie, make mistake. Dun dun not daddy pawn. Well, I am her older brother. Well, he is but daddy. Just like daddy pawn, watching over family. Same watch over. I think we don't give Ricky enough credit. He is incredibly mature, even if he feels goofy. You don't give Ricky enough credit. I've been saying I've his praises. I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little pun. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little pun. Ricky know some things. He has even more kids. How long do they live? How long are they children for? We can check the affinity chart. It says ages. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that man Ricky is the goat. Never sleep on Ricky again. The others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's strong. Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here. Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Hmm. This pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. It's because they have a they had a pipe dream. Alright. <laughs> pause real quick. How have, you, how have you done that? Skill? Reduces physical damage taken. Beautiful. Grants ether up at start of battle. Beautiful. Alright, and he has links with Fiora. Alright, All right, do you want me to pause? Yes, Kaza. You know what we must do. Right, so we are switching armor. And we're back. Look at this terrifying guy. 
They're, they're all Jesus pretty... the Dark Knight. Like... Like me. Pretty good. Okay. Chinese. Chinese. Let, let me see... How old do Napon get? Uh, I guess let's just look here. Let's see. He's 20. 10. 68. 83. I think they got 83. I think they got normal lifespans as homes. Hmm. Let's check the wiki. There's probably older ones. We'll see. thing is there's no ether here right yeah because they're pumping all their ether oh, supposedly so how do all these things still live here like we got grass and everything well i guess this is the fallen arm it's not connected to the mechanis so some, something there. It's literally in the water. In so that spot was between Ricky and Melia. Melia, but they aren't high enough affinity yet. Now that we have all the party members, I think it's time for me to figure out a way to do affinity grinding. Because we have I think not. That's just fighting enemies with them. No, we can, we can, remember, we can give them presents. So... Right, I forgot about that. We'll have to find out what's the best present for each person and all that. But we'll figure it out. Probably don't is, want to... Is, is that a horse? It's a ponyo. It is a horse. What, what are you doing? Let's get our people first, then we explore. But explore. Get our people first. But explore. They're right here in the hidden Machina village. A village in a place like this. Melia! What did I say? You were right. Ooh, yeah. And we found Fiora. Dunban. Fiora. No, this costume, they kind of look alike. Do you remember me? Mm -hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad. It looks like a JRPG villain, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, dear brother. Oh. His claw. Shook, is that your childhood friend? She's already jealous. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm glad she's safe. That look. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. What? What? Machina? You mean... machine people? So has this blown your brain? I'm sorry, but they just... they just look stupid. Damn. Well, hang on. You just seen Maybe a couple. You have many questions. I mean, I do get the booty head, but hang on. Some of them look cool. But please, take a look around our village first. She looks like a forgettable Power Rangers villain, and the others look like 
desiccated super droids from Star Wars The Clone Wars. We will talk Ooh. after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. That's a foot. That just looks like a foot. The hidden machina village. That oh. is just a foot. Could be. Our last uh, race. Our last people type. Because if you were to uh, to notice something. Also, we finally have every party member. Yeah. We may. Yeah, if you were to look in the affinity chart, there was just a uh, big old empty space right uh, right over there. So yeah, there's there's them. Time to change the party. He is now prevents incap incapacitation from lowering tension. That's a thing. Strength up at start of battle. Beautiful. Who are we putting in? Now we have all, all the options. Shulk, Fiora, and Melia. Ooh, you just want chaos, don't you? <laughs> well, I, I feel like these two are going to take the longest time to actually get their... Uh, affinity? Yeah, their, their affinity up. Plus, they're the last two party members, so... Yeah. Wrong button. Just to just to get them on a, a a good a good foot. They're gonna need it. Gonna need it. All oh, right, they're gonna uh, need shop it. right here. What do you need? What do we need? Sparrow blades for her. Yep, they're better. Machina staff. Not better. Machina guard. Has the ability to damage Mechon. Ooh. I guess we should get these then. Murder knives. Wait, is that better? No. That has the slot though. Uh, give me the books. Never go wrong with the I think we should probably start selling some of our early game equipment. Sir, have you noticed what I've just done? What? Oh. Why? Can you do that? You're gonna have to sell a bunch of those. Why can you do that? Why can you do that? Give me my money back. That better have been a one-to-one. -one. I swear to God. Ricky is angry. Ricky is angry. All right, let's see here. McConnus thing. Eh. Is that for anyone? No. McConnus thing. Hmm. Soloist goggles. We are gonna need to get some armor for. Yeah. You know, but these aren't better. The, are, are they not? No. This is good though. Uh, for three people, so I will get three of these. Yeah, the the only thing with the, the the armor so far is upgrading her ether defense, which is e. I want physical defense. Yeah, I think I think we just find better armor. 
do have better drones though, so definitely get those. Yeah, so here's a cool thing if you didn't notice. Uh, Fiora does not have a sh uh, shoe slot. She has a drone slot. And depending on the drone that she has, her special changes. Ooh. So right now she has the cannon drones. That does the laser. This is gun drones. These are shield drones. So very cool. I, I didn't get any. Oh, you already got the stuff on her. Did, it did not change her look. It, no, those that's the ones she starts with. I didn't get any, because they weren't better. Oh. And change the look of the drones. But I do like those. Let's get her, let's get her new armor. We c they're not better. They only raise ether defense. Oh, I'm going to put the equipment on the arc on the rest of the party, huh? Right. We did get what did we do? I already forget what we got. Stellar armor. Yes. Yeah. That's for these two and Shulk, but he's on the he's on the quick step ones right now. Machina staff. Okay. Ooh. The Machina sword. Why is it tiny? That's why. Ooh. It's a lightsaber. Cool. The Machina garter. Yeah, okay. Neat, neat. The Machina Rifle. Big gun. Big gun. The Machina Biter. <laughs> oh. Hello there. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Shouldn't we put on the, uh... Machina weapons. Yeah, yeah. Damn, they're so far down, though. Yeah, these are houses. You know what they remind me of? Hmm. You know, sometimes people will buy a uh, one of those cargo ship containers and uh, just turn it into a house. True. That's that's what these feel like to me. Right. Yeah, we don't want to actually start any quests or nothing. We do want to. No, ether light. I do want to just keep going a little bit more. Oh. Supposed to, supposed to talk to her. Oh, it's in. How are you? You're back. Have you finished looking around the village? Then I'll answer your questions. Where should I start? Mekon. In one sense we are, and in another we are not. 
It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. Mm. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis? So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Oh? Just as I thought. You were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. Oh no. Oh. I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on her. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Why are you giggling over there? That's that you put her in that outfit. I I know, but I just. Why is it like that? Because that's all of Everyone Charlotte's outfit. Everyone else looks like outfit. a cool JRPG character, but. That's all of Charlotte's outfits. Why is Charlotte specifically that? Because you need the fan service character. Ooh, that's Max. You're undone. The laboratory is literally just upstairs. Yep. Let's talk Don't to. Not even a laboratory. That's just station. Big man. Huh. Big man. Massive. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. Whose voice is that? I know I that don't voice. Know. I know that voice. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monado? It is. The destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He's my son. Oh. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. Well, damn. Ow. Oh. Well, damn. End of chapter. Chapter 13. Very cool. Out of how many? We're we're almost there. Oh, alcohol. <laughs> All the leaders. The 
I'm getting Hall Bastion vibes from this music. I, I hear it. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the High Entia. We all know who you are. You High Entia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Huh. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around till the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right, you can count on our help. Let's go. That was Nobody fast. Will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Yeah, well, Afaron, he, you know, he probably wanted to do this anyway. He just wanted to get some anger out. Dixon, are you leaving? Dicky boy? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Mm hmm? Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you should meet Shulk. What? I have something I want you to tell him. You what? better marry my sister. <laughs> Shulk gonna be like, no. What is Dixon up to? You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. There are hardly any of us Machina left or Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynath fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynath? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. Mm. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Oh. You can't be serious. The people of Mechonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we High Entia live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. 
clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bioness for what he did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynath herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mekonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? I, I know this is a big discussion and stuff, but... Gee. Just see Ricky's dragon head flopping about. All I know is this stinks. Who cares what he's been Ryan's through? massive body's hiding it now. Ryan. I understand about Egil, but why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. Hmm. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. Zanza. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Hom's medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Oh. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mekon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mekon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. Mm. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Viora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. Damn. Damn. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? You want me to get a thing? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. You want me to get the thing? But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mekon, so if you were to find some Mekon parts... But where? Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mekon wreckage. We'll take a look. I think that's the, the creature we five, saw. Right? Oh no. Yes. We're gonna have to kill it and rip it out. It might be easier to find at it night. It gives off a faint red glow. Yeah. Ah. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Fiora's treatment. And with that, Melia died. And we'll end it there. 
Oh boy, I'm player two. I'm player one. We're almost ready for quests. Almost, just one tiny thing. But what, what do you mean almost ready? Well, we need to get Fiora back up. We need to get the MacGuffin and then get her back up, and then I can do quests. Truth. But we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.